Greetings. This is Dr. Doug Campbell. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to find an article in a peer-reviewed scholarly journal, particularly for use in the source criticism paper assignment, which I use for all of my classes. For the purposes of demonstration, we are going to search on a topic related to History 101, but it could work for any of the courses which you might be having to take with me. The first step in all of this is to go to the syllabus. You are going to want to scroll down to the description of the source criticism paper assignment and read the instructions for that carefully. Uh, including there is a section on how to find a scholarly journal article, which is very helpful. Uh, it is worth your time to go through this in some detail. Once you've done that, however, you are ready to do your searching. So you should go to the Nova Library webpage. When you go there, you will see immediately sort of along the, the top middle of the screen, uh, a tab bar with various links. You're going to want to click on articles because you're searching for an article. So do that. Go down to databases by subject. Click on that link. Since you're taking a history class, the subject that you're going to want to click is, wait for it, history. So click that and you will see a list of relevant databases. Scroll down to JSTOR, J-S-T-O-R, which is an online repository of scholarly journal content. You could go there directly by just typing jstor.org into your web browser uh, address blank, but you're not going to want to do that because it is a pay service, and in order to use it, uh, you'll have to sign up and enter credit card information and stuff like that, and you should not do that. Uh, one of the perks you have as a student of the college is that it pays for you to access JSTOR for free, the main hoop that you've got to jump through is to use your MyNova login and go through the Nova Library website. So when you click on JSTOR, it'll open up a new window. You'll have to use your MyNova login that you use for everything else in the college. I'll log in here and it will take you to JSTOR and you can see at the top access provided by Northern Virginia Community College. So you've got it. You are ready to search. You could just do a basic search. I would recommend that you click on this link that says advanced search that gives you more control. Now, I said we we're going to use a history 101 topic. Uh, let us say hypothetically that the topic that you are researching, and remember this should be linked to the topic that has already been approved earlier in the semester for your research paper. Um, as a sample topic, let's say that you have proposed and gotten approved by me uh, a topic researching the role played by slavery uh, in the social systems of ancient Egypt and ancient Greece. Now, one of the things about scholarly articles is that they are pretty narrowly focused. Uh, they do not deal with broad general topics, but they, they take kind of a narrow slice of a certain subject matter and go into that in great detail. So you're not going to be able to find an article in a journal that deals with every aspect of your topic. Uh, it's going to have to be relevant to some facet of what you're researching. So let us say hypothetically we have decided then to narrow down our topic um, for the purpose of this assignment. Let's just focus on slavery in ancient Egypt. So enter in slavery in one of your search bars. Why don't we do ancient Egypt down here? Still not ready to search that. You need to scroll down and you can see this heading where it says narrow by, and then you can click boxes for various types of items. You definitely need to click articles. Scholarly journals contain lots of different material. One of the main things they have in addition to articles our book reviews on various recent monographs published in the field, that stuff is not going to work for this assignment. So you need to filter all of that out. The best way to make sure that you get actual articles is to click this article box. So this is a step that you definitely should not skip. 
Uh, you also can, if you so choose, scroll down and click a box to only return results for a specific discipline or field. If you want to, you can click the box for history uh, as well. Um, that might make some sense since I am asking you to get a get an article in specifically a history focused journal. Sometimes that can eliminate some hits, but generally it's, it's probably a pretty good idea to click that box. Uh, so now having clicked history, having clicked the articles box, having entered your search terms, you are ready. So click search. And you will see you will get a number of hits. A very important part of this process is to make sure that you're thinking about the actual hits that you've gotten, that you shouldn't just pick the very first thing that comes up after your search and, and propose that to use for this assignment. You have to make sure that you're thinking carefully about, okay, what is this article really on? Is it relevant to the topic that I'm researching? Does it deal with the appropriate time and place that I am studying? And if we're searching for an article that deals with slavery in ancient Egypt, this first article here by Ellen Busey, dealing with the sl transatlantic slave trade and American slavery, you can tell right off the bat, has nothing to do with slavery in ancient Egypt. That is not going to work. Second hit. Uh, article by Carl Degler, Star on Slavery. If you look at the list of topics, once again, this is on American slavery. Not going to work for us. Another article by Morgan, Origins of American Slavery. Won't work. So the first three articles here, not applicable. Uh, but what about this one? Morris Silver, What Makes Shabti Slave? From the Journal of the Economic and Social History of the Orient. Uh, you can see this one does deal with ancient Egypt. So this one is potentially relevant. Um, and you should go ahead and just look down through the whole, at least the first page of hits to see what sort of stuff that you have come up with. Um, you can see, for example, this one, Crisis of Images, the French Jihad and the Plague in Upper Egypt. Um, that does deal with Egypt, but that deals with Egypt in the modern era. Uh, if you're researching ancient Egypt, that's not going to cut it. So you, know, you do need to see what exactly is relevant. Um, you should have several options. Click on them, examine them. We're going to look at this one on what makes Shabti slave. And you can see reading through the abstract on what it's on. Uh, it does deal with funerary figures and what they have to say about the role played by slavery in ancient Egypt. Uh, looks like it's pretty relevant, like it is something that could work. Uh, I also specify for this assignment, it needs to be an article written sometime in the past 50 years. It's written 2009, no problem. 16 page article, nice and substantial. So this is going to work. Uh, so you should make sure, first of all, that you can access this again. You have the option to download the article as a PDF. You might want to do that so you can just save a copy and read it at your leisure. Um, the, the final step then is to enter the information for your article on the handy dandy form that has been uh, prepared in the syllabus for this purpose. Uh, and you can see that you're supposed to enter in your topic. We've written down like slavery in ancient Egypt, ancient Greece. Um, but then there is room for you to enter information about the scholarly journal article that you have found. So you should just go ahead and do that. Easiest way to do this, you can see over on the left hand side of the screen, there is a button that says cite this item. Click on that and it will return full citations according to various citation methods. Uh, and you can just copy and paste that material into the form. So we've got the author's name, Morris Silver. Enter that into the form. The title of the article, What Makes Shabti Slave. Copy, paste. The name of the journal, which is the Journal of the Economic and Social History of the Orient. Once again, copy that sucker. 
paste it in. Uh, the, the volume and the number, so volume 52, numbers 4 slash 5. Copy that in. The year of publication, 2009. And finally, the page numbers, so page 619 to 634. And there we've got it. We've entered all of that information into our form. Uh, super easy. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. The main thing that you want to make sure is that you enter all of this information in. If for some reason you have searched for an article in a scholarly journal and you can't find this information for the article that you intend to use, that's maybe an indication that perhaps you haven't found an actual article in a peer-reviewed scholarly journal. There should be all of this information for any article that will qualify. Uh, and if for some reason you can't find this info, maybe it means you need to search again. Uh, but at any rate, once you've entered the information, you can save the file uh, and you are ready to upload your, your proposal. So that is how to find an article in a peer-reviewed scholarly journal. The main points to keep in mind Make sure to read the instructions carefully. Make sure to search with your brain fully engaged. Make sure to think about whether the hits you get are actually relevant to the topic and that the article that you found actually fits. And then finally, make sure to enter all of the relevant bibliographic information into the form. Hope that helps. Happy searching.